I'm saying we got to find a way to do it. Good morning, YouTube. It's Big Larry alive and awake this morning. It's Sunday morning. 7.07 a.m. Still in bed for a little bit longer. Figured I'd get in here before everything starts this morning. Wanted to say good morning to Across the Pond. That's mostly the people that are up right now is Across the Pond. Good morning. Yep, from Ireland. That's why I say Across the Pond. Most people here in the U.S. is just waking up and just starting to smell the coffee. Sounds like Secular Opinion is going to go live at 8 o'clock this morning, so I figured I'd get on here and say good morning to everybody. Getting regular, regular waiting. For Secular Opinion to come on, see what he's got to put out there this morning. Hey, Vaughn, I'm not in jail yet. I'm still living in this house. No eviction notices yesterday. Yeah, he's going live here at 8 o'clock. So I'm not going to be on here long. I'll probably go to the 8 o'clock marker and... I'm going to go over to him and watch him this morning. Good morning, Jeffrey. Yeah, he didn't get no millions inheritance because he wasn't worth millions. She wasn't even worth millions. Happy Sunday morning from Fort Myers. Boy, I sure didn't feel good yesterday. A lot of heartburn, a lot of gas. You got that right, monkey. Me, little Jim, and Uncle Ronnie. Cousin Ronnie got it all. Sometimes I do, monkey. Sometimes I don't. No matter how much sharp pains are going through the backbone or the spine or whatever they call it. No, thank you, monkey. I will definitely keep trying that. Yeah, that's what he needs to do, little. As y'all know, I didn't get on yesterday. I need to take a couple of day breaks. Got us a bunch of groceries in here so we can go all the way into our next food stamp day. See, overstocked on hamburger this month, which is really good because we go through a lot of hamburger. No, we don't go through that much anymore. Not that little Larry's gone. But. You know, a pound of hamburger, two pounds of hamburger every single day, and, you know. You know, me and the wife was talking yesterday. I'm eating like she used to do when we first got together. And she's eating like me when I we got together. She's eating a lot more, and I'm eating a lot less. So, we literally switched places.
I mean, we got a Whopper last week. I only ate half the Whopper, and I was done. Half of a Whopper. I'm a man who eats three of them and say, let's go home to dinner. But the doctor's got me on that strict diet, so I got to watch everything I eat. If I want to keep alive, if I want to keep broadcasting out on YouTube, then I got to do as my doctor tells me. Well, I know. Yeah, that's all I had, monkey, was a half of a Whopper. And it's only got mayonnaise and tomato on it. No onions, no lettuce, no pickles, none of that stuff. The only veggies I really like, monkey, are green beans, Brussels sprouts, asparagus. I ain't too hot on peas. Carrots are okay if they're cooked good enough. I don't like them raw and I don't like them hard. I mean, usually when we make carrots, we put pancake syrup in them. And she cooks it in pancake syrup to make them real soft. And I like them that way. They're pretty good that way. Me and peas don't get along too good. Unless they're in tuna casserole or something mixed in, so... I like spinach. Oh, yeah, I do like spinach. I, I forgot to say that, spinach. Like I said, I, I pretty well like all veggies. It's just, you know, when I open a can of it, I got to eat the whole can because the wife won't eat them. The kids don't eat them. Larry likes green beans. That's about it. Arnold won't touch a green vegetable at all. Yeah, I'll have to try that, monkey. I really will. Like I said, I'm, my family are very picky eaters. They, I mean... Arnold's about ready to turn 17, 18 years old here, and he's still hooked on kids' meals at McDonald's. At least at 12, 13 years old, Larry said, forget them happy meals at McDonald's. I want a real meal, Dad. But you buy either one of them boys a pizza, and their pizza's gone before I even get my second piece in me. Yeah, like I said, I'm not going to be on here long. I'm not. It's a Sunday. This is my day. I'm going to watch NASCAR a while. I'm going to watch some football. Well, yeah, I know it's a lot cheaper, but state of Kentucky, cigarettes are pretty cheap anyways. I'm showing you a little. I'm a Marlboro man. And we're only paying five fifty a pack. This ain't New York where you're paying $10 a pack or Los Angeles paying $10 a pack or Florida spending $10 a pack. We're only $5 a pack here. Five fifty. dollars so I just say 5 Now I have to ro roll my painkillers. I'm pretty good at that. But, uh, yeah, rowing cigarettes. I used to for a while until I ruined a good shirt because I didn't pack the cigarette good enough. So I ruined a brand-new shirt, so I quit rowing. I was like, man, I, just, I wasted a $50 shirt for a lousy four-cent $4 cigarette. So I literally quit rowing my own. I just went to buying Marlboro's. Third 
Yeah, well, yours is only 18 years. I've been smoking for almost 45 years. Yeah, my liter my doctor literally told me to quit smoking cigarettes. He would rather me smoke my painkillers than he does my cigarettes. And I told him, give me a full prescription of my painkillers. And maybe I can quit. But my painkillers are kind of expensive, so I got to wait till my insurance is covered. Yeah, exactly, monkey. That's what I was saying. But he won't give me a prescription to last me all month. So that means I have to go out on the streets and find something, you know, just as strong as my meds to help me get through. I hope Seckler's got something good this morning going on. I usually don't do nothing on the weekends if I don't have to. My doctor says that's the worst thing to do, monkey. He'd rather me smoke the cigarettes than the vapes. He says the vapes are real bad for you. But who knows? My doctor might not even know what he's talking about. He's just a young kid. Oh, okay, Monk. Well, I've never tried one of them. I might have to try that, Monkey, but I sure love my painkillers just the way they taste already. You know, one of my neighbors asked me, Larry, how do you make it last so long? Well, I don't do one after each other. No, I don't like beer little. I used to like Budweiser when I used to drink beer. Uh, little Kings was okay. Corona's was okay. I was more of a Jack Daniels drinker. I like that hard liquor. Usually when I went to the bar, it was a double shot of Jack with the Jack and Coke on the side. Why they're getting my drinks, I'm putting 50 cents on the pool table. Well, yeah, and, and half a gram is a lot. I mean, you know, I don't, I don't get it to get geeked out, people. I don't get it to where it puts me straight out to sleep. I just hit it two, three times. The pain goes away. I set it down. It sits there for an hour, two, three hours. I start feeling the pain again, I grab it, and I hit it again. Good morning, Roland. Yeah, Larry's doing an early Sunday morning. I usually don't do Sunday mornings, but... My wife's still in bed, and she's already got my coffee this morning for me. She says she's going to lay back down till the time for her to take her shot. So I just figured I'd go live. I see Secular Opinion's going to be live at 8 o'clock, so I will be off here before 8. And you all probably see me over there talking. I'll have to check that out, monkey.
And I was shocked yesterday, though. I did get a check in the mail. Which, you know, we're going to put it in the bank account and let it sit there until we need it. Twenty three minutes after seven Sunday morning. We still got about a half hour before Seckler is live. Yeah, I ended up getting a check yesterday for uh, from that flood stuff that we got. They gave us a two hundred and fifty dollar check to reimburse us in the foods that we lost through that, you know. That flooding when our electric was down for the week. I mean, 250 is barely covering just what we lost in food. But, you know, hey, I'll take it. Especially when the welfare department has already reimbursed it through the food stamps. So, and these guys send us a check for 250 I'm definitely going to put it right in my bank account. Maybe that's what Vaughn got yesterday. Maybe he got his $250 check from him. I don't know. I don't care what's going on with that sucker. All I know is I'm still here. I'm not in jail. I do not have an eviction notice. And when I get one, I'll be glad to move. These houses will be all marked condemned and... The kids won't even have them anymore because Vaughn can't pay property taxes on these. He don't know how to pay property taxes. And even if he's got the money to pay them, he wouldn't. I don't know how I got these mojos on my screen here. It's telling me to put some mojos out there, people. I'm trying to figure out how to get it off there. Remember, Larry ain't too smart. Like I said, I'm still learning, people. I'm still learning. Come on, Mojis, move. Yeah, I ain't going to worry about the Mojis. I'll just talk to you guys a few minutes and take care of all that. Any money? Yeah, I miss most of that. Yeah, it's probably changed a little. Little. Yeah, so we're doing nice and good for a Sunday morning. Can't believe my baby's awake already. 
Man, I know he's not a baby no more. I keep calling him my baby. No matter how old he is, he's still going to be my baby. He will be the last child that I produce. And it's definitely the last child my wife will have. I'm too old to be raising kids anymore. And the wife's in no shape to be raising kids anymore. So we've did our share. I am still trying to figure out how to get this mojo thing off my screen. Any suggestion, people? Maybe it's because not many people are them. In this business, you grow by winning. As America's largest injury law firm, we have more lawyers than any other injury firm. Proof in the pudding. Size power strength. There's only one we're going to work with. Sports under back with Randy and Phil and a couple top 10 games that kept rolling yesterday without raised blood pressure. Number two, Ohio State. They now have 42 straight home wins over unranked opponents with a 54 to 10 of drubbing of Iowa. CJ Stroud threw for 286. Yeah, my Buckeyes won yesterday, so that's a good thing. I was happy to see that. Ohio State's largest win over Iowa since 1975. In Knoxville, Tennessee won the 1998 National Title. Thought it was going to be a good game, but. It didn't end up being a good game. Ohio State blew them away. 52 to 10. No, I don't watch nothing like that. Now, my wife likes stuff like that little. I don't get into horrors or scary. I'm more into action. Like Steven Seagal's, um, Sylvester Sloan's, you know, I like action movies. Now that wife, she, she watches all them ghost movies and all that kind of stuff. Morning, Nate. Yeah, you know, it's like uh, me and the wife was talking the other day. The movie that I missed that they ain't been putting on here in a long, long time was uh, Missing in Action with Chuck Norris. I ain't seen that film in a long time. Morning Burn. Bum, 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 beat, bun, bum, B U M. You know I'm talking to you, so. Good morning, number one. Like I said, people, I'm not on here long. It's Sunday. Okay, that's what I thought it meant. You know, it's Sunday morning. I really shouldn't even be on here, but the wife's still in bed. Uh, I'm sitting here waiting on Secular to go live. He is scheduled to be live at 8 o'clock at shows. So I'm going to be surprised if he's up that early. But, hey, things, he, he surprises me all the time. So. Morning, farmer in the cell. Yeah, well, that's exactly it, too. What Vaughn's plan on being sooner or later. A bum, homeless. 
Yes. I watch all Sylvester Sloan movies, all, at least two or three times. He is my favorite actor. And I would say my favorite actress, there's a few of them out there. I do like Reese Witherspoon's. The only problem, he ain't got a shotgun. He ain't got no guns. He's already sold them all, even though he said somebody, the Frost, stowed them. But I got people that tell me exactly who they sold them to. And there's one of them that says he bought one of them. Is Vaughn going to call them a liar too? Everybody's a liar but Vaughn. Yeah, well, he better keep it. He better try to sell them Tiffany lamps. Yeah, he gonna make a shotgun through the videos. Yeah, that's it. Figured I'll mute this TV. I'm going to have to yell for the wife here shortly. Let her know it's getting close to her time of checking her sugar and getting herself her shot and eating something. She takes some insulin shots four times a day. Eight in the morning, one o'clock the afternoon, six o'clock at night, ten o'clock at night. I know I used to give them to her all the time till her arms started bruising and then she started using her leg for a little bit. Die Hard's a really good movie, too. Oh, it, it's going to happen soon, Nate. It will happen again, Nate. I guarantee you that. Just don't know exactly when. It's when we both can, and hopefully Larry's got all this stuff figured out by the time that happens. Because I sure would like to get it all figured out. Nate's a Ronnie Ray fan. Hey, that's good. Ronnie Ray appreciates it. Yeah, there'll be a lot of videos released. Nate, I don't know if I'll be able to do that because I don't think I can handle the stink. But, you know, when it does happen, you know the girls are going to be all over it. Yeah, it definitely had to be a hazmat suit, exactly. You know, I remember one time people, Vaughn says he was going to call the news station. He was going to put it on the news that Kentucky is corrupt. 
this frost are corrupt. He's going to put it on the news. He's going to call 13 News or whoever and have them do an interview on him. I want him to do that. Go in his house and do that interview. Show us on live TV 10 billion people, not millions, billions of people watching, James. Let them come in your home. You're stupid enough to let them come in your home when it's nasty and stinky like that. You think they're going to be filming you, James? They're not. They're going to film your house. So I wish 13, 11, 24, whoever, I wish the news crew would come out there to your house, James, for all you could tell them how corrupt Kentucky state laws are. Yeah, and they're definitely filmed the dead dogs in the garbage can. You got that right. Well, now he can't call anybody. He has no phone, so he has to do it all through the Internet now. Everything has to go through the Internet. Until his Internet gets shut down. And if you ain't paying that, that's what's going to happen. You know, that's what his mom wanted him to do all along, is shut his computer down and spend time with his wife and his kids and his mother. But horse vaginas are more important. His electric bill is being paid by the $250 that he is getting from the estate every month. Who is paying his internet? I have no idea. You know, and I hate to tell you, Vaughn. Everything that the Troves know about you, the only reason they know it is because you put it out there. We don't have to look it up, James. You're telling us right out of your own mouth. That's coming from food stamps, burn. Bum. That's his food stamps. The... Um, Dollar General store sells them cast White Castle burgers. I think you're getting like eight of them for five dollars or something. Alice's phone's all shut down. She has no phone. She has no internet. All them boxes that they, the internet service brought into him to hook it all up, none of it even got hooked up. It's all sitting on her dining room table still. The only thing we have going at Alice's house is the water and the lights. Because we don't want the water lines to freeze and we want to keep lights on there for people to think that people live there still and no one goes over there messing with it. Because Von Hilton ain't going to protect it. He's not going to protect nothing. People, I do have a very big mouth, so I am going to pause this for one second where you guys can't hear me yell to make sure my wife is up getting ready to take her meds because it's almost a quarter till. Hold, please. Okay, I'm back. That way I didn't have to yell in your guys' ears. She's up and moving. She's going to get up. She's going to check her sugar. 
then she'll go in there and take her shot, and then she'll grab herself something to eat. Then she knows that she can go lay back down if she wants, as long as that sugar count was good. But she's not going to sleep too long. She's got church today. She said she wants to go. And she asked me, do you think I should go? I was like, honey, I think you should go every time it opens the doors. That's up to you. I mean, we all worship God different. Yeah, Nate, she keeps me good in coffee. There's no difference. I got a good wife. I really do. You okay? No. I'm live this morning. What's wrong? My shoulder. Stiff shoulder. I slept on my shoulder. Oh, you fell asleep on your shoulder? Yeah. Yeah, you got to watch that stuff, honey. Hi, people. Wife said good morning to all. The wife brings the cookies home for you. That's good. That's good. No, bomb, bomb. I'm not going to church. I barely get around anymore. I mean, I'm lucky I can walk out to the truck, get in the truck, drive her to the store, and let her do what she's got to do. Does Mrs. Frost have a single sister? No, she has no sister. She has a brother. That's it. Nope, my wife has no sisters. She's got a couple stepsisters, but they're young. They're like in their 19s and 20, 25 somewhere. Same age as our kids. You know, my mind got blowing yesterday. I was sitting here thinking that, you know, hey, I got a boy whose birthday's coming up. And I sat here and thought about it and thought about what age he's going to be. Boy, time flew by. I have a son that will turn 27 years old. Hey, Vaughn, should we send you a birthday cake for your birthday tomorrow? You wish. I'd send your mom a birthday cake before I send it to you, buddy, old pal. Did you all see the birthday cake we got her, the last birthday cake she had? Vaughn didn't have nothing to do with that, people. I took cash out of my pocket and went and bought her a birthday cake and ice cream and roses. Show me one meal that Vaughn Hilton's took to his mother. Show me one birthday cake he's took to his mother. I can show you food that I took over there. I can show you the cake I took over there and bought. I got pictures of me taking her to the doctor's offices. I got me taking her to the beauty salon to have her hair done. He tried to steal the turkey, yeah. Yeah, he literally a couple years back tried to steal one of the turkeys on Thanksgiving because he wanted to go feed his kids with it. What's wrong with bringing his kids over to the house and feeding them? Not a damn thing. I could see if his mom bought the turkey, then do whatever you want. I can see if he bought the tar turkey, do whatever you want, but neither one of them bought the turkey. Neither one of them bought that turkey. We know who bought the turkey. 
I know who took most of all. The, the only thing Miss Alice had invested in that Thanksgiving were deviled eggs. Everything else was done by another family member. And it wasn't Vaughn. Yeah, show me where he didn't come over and mooch food. That's that's something I can't show you. You know, we we we're not we are not stingy frost. We we do care about people and we were not gonna let his kids starve. But we're sure in the hell ain't gonna let him take a 30 pound turkey, walk it over to his house and let him do whatever he wants with it before we even cut it. I mean, I could see if we've all got some of it and we're all sitting at the dining room eating and he tried to try to take it out the door. I probably wouldn't have noticed it until it, you know, until I'm ready for my second plate. He took it before we even cut the turkey. Yeah, he lived too close for comfort, exactly. He's only 20 feet from his back door to his mama's back door. No, he'd wait until after we were gone, Farmer. That's one thing. He wouldn't come over there when I was there, when I was dropping off food. But as soon as I left, he was, I mean, I had the video cameras recording it. I'd go sit at the church and I can get on there and watch him go in her house. Yeah, he was the victim. I don't want that. I want some more hot. First commercial of the morning. 42 minutes. Good to the last drop. You guys like my coffee cup? My wife got me this. A few years back. Happy Valentine's Day. We got probably about eight cups that size. All different sayings. A victim with 12 million stinky bucks. Yep, exactly. Yeah, we like them, Farmer. I mean, they're big cups. It's at least two cups instead of just one. And the way I drink coffee, she knew that, you know, I need a bigger cup. Yeah, we're talking about buying some more stuff for the kitchen after we figure out if we're moving or not. But I don't drink coffee all day, and I do got two of them already, Farmer. I've already got two of them, buddy, and we don't even really use them, tell you the truth. I mean, I only have two, three cups in the morning, and I'm done. It's Dr. Pepper time. We probably go through one pot a day. Sometimes she dumps half the pot down there. And that's it. Two or three cups in the morning. But as you notice, my cups are pretty big. So. Yeah, I know. I know. But I drink it so fast. That I don't even can't tell you if they're hot or cold. Because, I mean, it's gone pretty quick. Get a couple hits of that morning painkiller. 
Like I said, I got a couple of them. I think I paid like $3 a piece for them. I buy a lot of stuff on some of these auctions these girls have around here. They buy a bunch of stuff off the pallets, and then they go home and take everything off the pallet and get online, and they sell it online to the neighborhood people. <clears throat> Which countries have non- extradition treaties with the U.S. Tell you the truth, Richard, I don't know. I think the U.S. can pretty well go anywhere they want. I can't say he did, Bledo, but, you know, there were a few times where you know, where I would buy a certain amount of food. Because I tried to stock in where I only had to go to her to get her food like every other week. You know, because that's kind of what I did with my food. I get enough to go two, three weeks, you know, whatever I can, fill up the freezers in the fridge, which I tried to do to her. I made sure she had enough to go two weeks. And all of a sudden, a lot of her food just started disappearing. I mean, she went through two, wor two weeks worth of food within three days. And I couldn't understand that. And then it, you know, then it really realized me that he's got to be walking out the back doors with them. Yeah, they're worth 30, 40 bucks. Like I said, I paid three bucks. Oh, I, I the cameras did help, farmer. I got the cameras. I, I mean, it's all been recorded. It's all been sent to the right people. That's why I said I'm just going to kick back and relax, enjoy life, and let the courts, the judges, the lawyers, and all of them handle everything. I turned in what I had to do. He has never cooked anything that don't belong in the microwave. Everything he's ever cooked came out of the microwave. Don't put me for wrong. There are foods that's okay in the microwave. Quick and easy something. I mean, you come in from doing a 12-hour shift and you are beat-ass tired. You throw in something quick, eat, go to bed. But literally, what's he do all day? Fly, play with horse vaginas. It ain't hard for him to go in that kitchen and learn how to cook. Oh, you got to have a clean kitchen to cook. He's not old nothing. That's it. Yeah, his time's coming. I, I just kind of, uh, there's a word that I want to say, but my wife gets mad at me every time I say it, so. Well, little, I never really seen him personally do it, but, you know, I know what I buy. I have receipts showing everything I bought. And I don't know how that woman went through that many TV dinners in that quick of a time.
Yes, I am the one that bought her the TV dinners because I thought they'd be quick and easy for him to give them to her. No, she did not live off TV dinners. We took chili. We have took meatloaf. We took spaghetti and meatballs. Thanksgiving turkey. I mean, we've took a lot of foods to her. Well, it's going to happen, bum. Just don't know how long it's going to take. It's going to happen. That or he's going to expect his kids to raise him. Because he ain't going to have no money. He ain't going to have nothing. And the way he's going at it, his kids might not even have nothing. People, I am going to get off here. Secular Opinion is now live. Peace out, people. Peace out.